today uh, in this video what we are going to do is we are going to have a look at how we do sentiment analysis using python so for achieving this purpose we are going to use a python library named text blob so let's begin with this video so first of all i am going to import text blob so from text blob import text block so I have imported text block python library over here and then what we are gonna do is I am going to construct uh, line 1 suppose that uh, car looks awesome so we are going to perform a sentiment analysis on this line and again suppose a line 2 that uh, fruit Smells dirty. So these are the two lines on which we are going to do uh, a sentiment analysis. So for that, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create blob one. Uh, so so what we'll do text blob and we'll pass line 1 over here and again we will create a blob 2 so basically it's creating a blob out of the sentence that we are passing line 2 so we have created these two blobs so now what we will do we will directly print blob 1 dot sentiment Similarly for blog to dot sentiment. So we'll just save this file. I'll name it as analysis and I'll just run this module. you can see uh, for the first line it has written a polarity and the subjectivity so it returns two attributes polarity and subjectivity so your polarity stands for a sentence that uh, that conveys an emotion so like over here we can see that car looks awesome so it's conveying an emotion a positive emotion and the other attribute subjectivity uh, subjectivity means uh, the sentence uh, like uh, that is my watch or that is my book so it doesn't convey any emotion so it represents the subjectivity measure of that particular sentence similarly if you have a look at the second line that fruit smells dirty so that is a negative kind of emotion that is expressing so it returns the polarity measure as negative minus 0.6 that is minus 0.6 so if we change suppose good so again if I run this so you can have a look at that the uh, polarity measure of the second sentence has changed to uh, minus uh, sorry a positive 0.7 so here positive 0.7 means it's a medium uh, normal positive emotion over here if you see the awesome word represents a high positive emotion so that's why it's returning a, a plus one measure so i hope you have got little bit understanding of how this sentiment analysis work and how we can use text blob python library to achieve this there's a most to more thing to explore in this python library so we'll come up with more videos in this context so till then take care and if you like this video do like it and subscribe to my channel till then take care and thanks a lot for watching